Jesse Baring uh, did this great, uh, from Slate uh, Magazine, did a great story about bestiality and the history behind it. So it turns out that in Europe and in colonial New England, people were terrified at the thought of atheists having sex with animals and giving birth to monsters that would consume <laughs> humanity. So <laughs> when you had sex with animals, they would punish you. And the way they would punish you is to burn you alive. Now, they didn't only punish the, the human, they also punished the animal. They would uh. slay the animal because they were convinced that the animal was acting, they're yeah. acting slutty, okay? They're being <laughs> totally slutty animals. I love the idea of like a horse being like, come here, big guy. Yeah. <laughs> so there's this great story, okay? In 1646, um, there was a guy named George Spencer. And he was an old man, and he was notorious for having a profane, lying, scoffing, and lewd spirit. And he was accused of having sex with his master's sow, a female pig. And um, the reason for that is that the sow gave birth to, quote unquote, a prodigious monster. And <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, look, it's both really sad, because I mean, of the terrible so he, consequences. So here's what happened, okay? So this, so this pig gave birth to a fetus that only had one eye. The other eye wasn't functioning. Uh -huh. And this man, George Spencer, also had only one eye that was functioning. His oh, other eye was no good. This. Poor guy. Done. Okay? Immediately killed, right? So he was burned alive. Okay, um, and then there's another guy named Thomas Hogg, very ironically named. He was accused of having sex with um, a sow, one particular sow. What's with all the pig sex? Yeah, so, so here's what they made him do at trial. They made him come out and they said, go fondle that, fondle that uh, sow. Because they wanted to see the relationship that the two had, uh. okay? And, and he's, like, he's like, I don't want to do it. Like, you got to do it right now, otherwise we're going to put you to death. So he has to fondle the sow. And here's what the record indicated. Immediately, there appeared a working of lust in the sow, oh. insomuch that she <clears throat> uh, poured out seed before them. I'm not sure what that means. But, but basically, as soon as he touched the sow, the sow was totally turned on. It was obvious to everyone. And then, because they're scientific people, they brought another sow. They said, fondle that one. And when he did, nothing happened. That sow was not interested. So which proves he had a relationship with the first sow. Done. Execute him by burning him alive. Okay. God. You All right, know, one more quick story about this, okay? Because I just can't get enough of it. It's ridiculous. Uh, this one is in France. Uh, this French peasant named Jacques Ferrand uh, was having um, <laughs> sex with a female donkey, okay? And... Um, oh, no. Oh, no. And he was... Uh, he was actually caught in the act, so guilty. So of course, they uh, burned him alive, even though he pled for mercy. They trotted him around town, and, and everyone laughs at him and throws eggs at him and vegetables, and he begs for mercy, they burn him alive. However, in a rare show of mercy, they didn't slay the donkey, because for whatever reason, the donkey was really, really popular. So they had a separate trial for the donkey, where they had all these witnesses that came out and said, this donkey has never exhibited any sexual tendencies towards anyone else. Therefore, she must have been raped by this crazy man, okay? <laughs> and, uh, and the parish priest uh, wrote an impassioned plea and drew up a certificate uh, testifying to this donkey's chastity, okay? <laughs> and, uh, and the donkey was acquitted. <laughs> <laughs> At least some degree of justice, right? Yeah. So, so the article continues on, and, and it tells you, uh, you know, it talks about zoophiles. These are people who love animals and want to have sex with them and cuddle with them and have a relationship. Uh, and um, zoo sadists. These are, these are people who like to torture and hurt animals. And the zoophiles are very, very angry if you mix them up with a zoo sadist. Well, I don't blame them. Look, uh, who, who, would you, who, do you, who are you more scared of? The guy who chops up animals or the guy who has sex with them? Yeah. And, and, I think and the, the guy who tortures the animals is 10 times scarier. I mean, the guy having sex with the animals is like my old friend Rodell. Remember that famous story we did where he kept going back? He fell in love with a horse, and he kept going back to the same horse. They caught him over and over, kept putting him in jail. But he's clown of the earth, man. That, he, that guy ain't going to harm anybody but a horse. Yeah, so this journalist, uh, Jesse Baring, he actually did some significant study on, uh, on um, people who have sex with animals today. Turns out that horses and dogs are the most 
sexually uh, attractive <laughs> animals for zoophiles. Uh, pigs, not so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do they make um, that distinction? Can you show those pictures of those sexy pigs and donkeys? Okay, this ought to be good. Come on. Oh, come on. Tell me you can resist that. Come on. Come on. Come on.